Hey everyone, the Zach's back, and he didn't die of COVID. No, but I <laughs> he, had it. He tried. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin, and I'm Zachary Andrew Charles Kieslich. Yes. Uh, if you don't know Zach, obviously he's done many reviews. He's uh, uh, my best friend from very young, very young. Um, no, but it keeps getting younger and younger. Yeah, that, that's true. And uh, I think you've watched probably around fifteen or so now. Yeah. Probably around there, Indian films total. But today he watched what was our first Indian film ever, which was Three Idiots, uh, which we watched almost three years ago. So this is your first Amir Khan film? Yes. Yes, it is. First Amir Khan film. Um, obviously, if once again, if, if you guys haven't seen Rick and I's original review, that's already been done almost three years ago, so you can go check that out. This is, that Zach's, good. That good re- review. This is Zach's review of that film. So it's directed by Rajkumar Hirani. Uh, I think is how you pronounce his name. Uh, He wrote it as well, starring Amir Khan, Madhavan, uh, and Karina Kapoor, uh, along with uh, a bunch of different other people. Um, Did you notice, uh, because you watched, have you seen anything with Ranbir in it yet? Ranbir Kapoor? I actually don't think, you didn't watch Tamasha, have you? No. You haven't watched Tamasha. Okay, never no. Never mind them. That's uh, one of the ones with Topeka um, that I told you to watch. Uh, Which one was Tamasha about? Uh, theater. Okay, no. Yeah, that no. I watched the other Tamisha you told me to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I, don't think other... I don't think you've seen it. So, anyways. So, yes. Um, this is a, the 2009 film. Obviously, this is going to be a spoiler review. Every single Indian has seen this film. This is one of the first films most indians recommend to people if they're looking to get into bollywood is this like your first also big bollywood film but ramlila you saw ramlila ramlila was yeah but, but this this then, is different but this is different this is yeah. different because ramlila i don't know i think ramlila i knew what i was getting myself into mm-hmm. that was i didn't more... realize how much bollywood this was this was very bollywood <laughs> this is a very bollywood amir khan is one of the biggest stars ever in Indian cinema. In fact, he's coming out with a new film. Uh, it's now been pushed back to February where he I just uh, saw that. Uh, is the new Forrest Gump. Uh, but it's Indian Forrest Gump. I was so. going to tell you, let me know when. Yeah, you, I think it's coming up. I'll be I think on it, your radar before. Yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. It's been it's it was supposed to come out last year, but COVID has pushed it back so much. Anyway, Rick, you're not Rick. Sorry, that's habit. Don't you ever. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Call your me. initial thoughts, please. I hate this. So, I did not like it the first 30 minutes. Okay, gotcha. I had to look again. It was about 33 minutes on the 33 minute mark. Like, I wouldn't say I hated it, but I was like, it was, it was, it was silly. I know exactly the part that you were talking about. Yeah, it was a little over the top for me. I don't think I realized how Bollywood it was. So, Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting it. Very cartoony. Mm -hmm. Um, It wasn't until. Uh, they're singing their song, they're dancing, and I was like, okay, another song, and I do the camp, the the GoPro basically up into the window, and the guy was hanging, and I literally said out loud, I said, shit, <laughs> what am like I like I changed the movie real fast, it just okay. like what is this, and then I was hooked, yeah. and uh, and then it wasn't cheesy, and it made and then I rewatched the parts that I thought was cheesy, and it made me appreciate it more and yeah because i think it had a good balance of i mean at the time it didn't it was like very silly but then when it got to the serious parts and then it got more into the because even in there it talked about you know he was questioning the the professors and stuff like that so that was a interesting um point of view because they're talking about the school system and Mm -hmm. you know we both weren't fond of the school system still not so um i i I really like that, but it took me a while to get to that point um, because I was like, okay, this is this is really cheesy. This really, yeah. really kind of kitty. Yeah, um, I think that we had that. I mean, what I, I've been through. I think we had that exact same 
um feel going into it i was like uh <laughs> what is going on but i'm here? trying not because i just watched your review and so people if you haven't seen it watch it i'm trying not to copy but what you basically said was spot yeah. on and how i felt i know it was like almost three years so you probably have yeah. no memory yeah, I, I i and i didn't i usually try to rewatch before we do a review i didn't get to rewatch but i remember it, it pretty darn well um the one of the big things was actually how this affected the culture in India and how a lot of people thought about because Indians and Asians in general um, have such high um, pressure put on them to do well in school and become right, an, right. an engineer or a doctor or something of that ilk um, by their parents and by the culture in and of itself. So this really started a whole conversation for a whole bunch of families um because the suicide really rate cool. is, is quite high uh for asian countries in general in terms of just the pressure they feel because if they if they do not even bad on a test like if they get like a b and they were expected to like do amazing they like it's it's this insane pressure that a lot of people feel um and so this film did uh, uh one um it started a lot of conversations about that and it changed a lot of the school system so and that's um, good because that's I mean, just seeing a little piece of that, mm-hmm. of that culture in this movie, I mean, that's very dangerous and very scary. And, um, you know, I celebrated when I got, a, you know, a, a C, you know, <laughs> when I barely passed. So I was like, yes, uh, I've, I've, got to, I've got to do this. But uh, so I, I just can't imagine on that side. But then also just because as there is different cultural backgrounds, um, just the idea of like you have to do something like after high school we were told we had to go to college um and we tried to do that for a little bit me longer <laughs> than you uh and it was a waste of my time a waste of time and money but uh yeah. but um but i mean if i if i like this message it's like you know follow your your passions you know mm-hmm. something that you know like amir amir right amir yeah yeah, well, like he was saying, he said, my passion is uh, um, engineering, so that's mm-hmm. why I'm here. That's why I do this. You know, follow what you're good at, follow your passion. Um, and so I wish I knew that at, you know, 19, 18, um, would have changed some things probably, but, you know, can't go back. <laughs> and I like how my life is. Speaking of uh, Amir, what do you think about his, uh, his role and his performance? This is your first I experience. Like so at first... I first thought I was like, "Oh, is this guy? He, he's special." <laughs> so this is a real. This is. I thought this was the Forrest Gump. That's why when I read that, he's gonna. I was like, "Perfect." I already casted him as Forrest Gump in this movie, um, just because of his wide eyes and mm-hmm. just he looks like <laughs> looked like an alien in a new mm-hmm. country kind of thing. Um, and uh, but as it went on, like I, I really loved his acting, and I really liked. Um, how he played both, where he could be that serious and have those, you know, tear moments, mm-hmm. and then also be this, you know, the kind of like he's he's a he's a it was a slacker almost, but a really smart slacker because he he wanted to be there, and it wasn't like he had to be there, and so he kind of like his mannerisms wasn't so rigid like everyone else's because he's mm-hmm. like you know what I want to be here, I know I'm going to do good, and it's not for me anyways, kind of thing, and that twist, and there's twists was crazy i wasn't expecting that i was like what what are like, you talking about the end made up the entire time <laughs> yeah talk about the end I was like, is this what, a psychological you... thriller all of a sudden what do you think about the end and the twist uh, um I, I i like the end i did like yeah. the end um i mean kind of as much as a romantic i am i'm kind of over like the easy endings yeah. Um, just because I've seen them all the time, so I was kind of expecting. I, I like the, the endings that are like, you know, maybe they don't get together, but they um, they have a mutual respect or some kind of some type of bow, but not like the perfect bow. Yeah. But at the same time, it was cute. I mean, I I got uh, a little teary eyed uh, when um, and again I watched yours, so I know how much. And I grew up with you, so I know how much of a robot you are. <laughs> this guy watched in glorious bastards and if you haven't seen that movie there's this huge shootout where like everyone gets gunned down we're in the movie theaters and this guy's next to me cracking up oh it was it's such a like, hilarious scene <laughs> it was like comedy it was 
It was, it people was getting gunned down oh, it was and so screaming, good. and then fire was coming out of nowhere. It was so good. And then Hitler's um, face was, oh. that's the only, yeah, that was, I like that. Was, that was great. Um, uh, yeah. But, uh, sorry, we're not talking about that movie, though. Um, <clears throat> no, like, so, I, I mean, I did, I did like, it was cute, especially because he was re- um, hashing his uh, flashback of what he said of his dream that you were coming in um, in a wedding dress on a scooter, taking your helmet off. And so that was like, oh, li- nice little, like, bring it back. A little callback, a nice callback. So um, I, I liked it. I liked it. I, I liked that he was this, he was a scientist the whole time, but it was like, it was a perfect little bow. Yeah, it was... Um... Uh, India has has a term for a lot of their films that are called masala films, which okay. means it has just Sounds delicious. Yeah, uh, a bunch of different genres in it. So you'll go from big Bollywood fun rom rom com to very serious to sad to in in all in the same film. And so they call them masala films just because they um, this one. I kind of fit into that, but it's not, there are I some, can, and I could see that um, there are some real masala. This is not one of the ones that kind of defines it. No, but, I feel like this stayed with that. I think the, yeah. there's big moments that kind of took you away from it. They're like, oh, yeah. like the 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 hanging scene, the, the, the his friend jumping off the building, mm-hmm. um, the, the whole having a baby thing. Mm-hmm. That whole thing was like it took me out, but I think most of it kind of stayed that kind of quirky. Uh, friendship comedy, but I, you... I I like that they had that term because that's what I feel about Forrest Gump. Not to bring it back to Forrest Gump, oh. that's like million different movies in one. It's gonna be interesting to see how they do that because it's such I'm an Ameri- it's it's I, such I, an I... it's such an American story that they're gonna have to like do so many different things to make it Indian. Um, right. To go with their history yeah. and their yeah, culture, so... and I'm curious to see if they're going straight from the movie or the book. Um, yeah, and see, and the book's pretty different. Amir Khan is known for, he's called Mr. I think he's called Mr. Perfectionist or something like that. And he also, he, he started in the, the early 90s. Well, in like his stardom really started in the early the 90s. Reef. Yeah. Um, but he's, he, and he started in some, you know, quirky leading man roles. But he's, since he's got to do what he wants in his career, he's started to wanting to do films with more messaging to them. So they have and, a deep, a, a deeper meaning, or, or, and he, he also like hates award shows, doesn't go to award shows. And, I like and, this guy. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a really fine. Unfortunately, we never got to talk to him because he really doesn't do interviews be, very, uh, very often at all. That'd be um, awesome. If you did. Yeah, because we, if this is one of those. We've seen more films of his, I think, than anyone's. Give me more because yeah, uh, I, 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 I like him. I really liked. Um, and what do you think of uh, Karina? The, the girl the girl the, the love interest yeah, yeah i think you I, saw her you saw her in her omkara actually she was in omkara that? that's the that? the other vishal bardwash uh shakespeare one about othello did you ever watch that one? Oh, i never saw it i didn't oh you, gotcha never mind then but yeah, no. um i thought she i thought I, I liked her i did i thought she was she was a like nothing stood out uh-huh. um sorry if i offend people who are friends of fans of hers but um I thought I thought she was good, but it was just I feel like anyone could play that part. Uh, she is a massive star, and that's like, um, probably the great stuff. I'll just here, I was like, okay, she's good. She's a good love interest. She is a massive, massive star. Um, in terms of like, just she's been around a long. She actually is in a, a film called K three G, which you're not ready for yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little while down the road, you will. That be. was actually going to be my because I was. I think I was watching your first one, and you said you guys watched it after. Um. Yeah. No. K three G. Uh. She plays an, an iconic character in that one, but not for. Not for like. Uh, like it was like an amazing performance. It was like it was one of those just over the top. Just it was an iconic role. Okay. <laughs> Her character's name is Pooh. Uh, Pooh. Pooh. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, um, but yeah, she she was, uh, and I think she's actually in that um, the Forrest Gump one with him actually. Okay. Like I mean, yeah, she was. 
she wasn't bad at all. She was, she did well with what she was doing, but it was just. What do you think of the uh, "What is a machine?" scene? That's a very iconic scene from this uh, this film. I I thought it was really powerful. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was a really good just the, the message and the way it was delivered. I thought that was um, again kind of took you out of this fun movie and just really um, just kind of put things in perspective. And so I thought that was. Uh, and so that's a famous like it's people. like one of the most famous scenes from the film um wh- what do you think about the professor <laughs> i liked him i really did uh I, 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 I once i got to a part where i realized how over the top this movie was supposed to be yeah um and was okay with that he i liked um yeah. i liked his lisp i liked his he was very 90s yeah principle he was a principal. He was, or 80s. He was, uh, you know, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off or uh, Breakfast Club, that kind of like the over to the top, um, um, hard ass kind of guy. And so I, I, I liked him. And I liked because he was a character. He was definitely, he wasn't just playing, you know, I, I have to be this version of a principal or, or a dean or whatever. He was his own little fun character. So it'd, be, I it was- it'd be interesting if I was able to actually watch this before we, we, we reviewed it again and see what I thought about it now. Because I know like, being almost remembering your review, two hundred films in now in terms of Indian cinema, um, I, I think I'd be able to appreciate it more than that. That was my first, first ever Indian film, and so uh, his character was definitely striking to me. <laughs> you, you definitely need to watch it because I can't imagine. Like I don't know how I would be if that was my first Indian film. <laughs> <laughs> because I would be like, okay, this is kind of what I expected. Yeah, a little cheesy, a little over the top. Okay, Not, it was, as it was a fun like, ride, but I don't know opposed, if it made me want to keep watching. Like, it, like as, as opposed to Lunchbox and Header. Lunchbox and Header. Yeah. <laughs> those, yeah. those were like these are like legit. I mean that. That this is not this is a legit movie too, but these were just movies that were like it was storytelling and it was it was uh, about characters and kind mm-hmm. of what we fall in love here uh, yeah. in, in America. And so um, going from that and then to the Bollywood, it just like took me out a little bit. But I yeah. I love I love musicals, always have. And so do you like all the songs? Uh, I love the songs. I did. I loved all as well. Um, and then the 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 song with him and. Uh, with Zub- uh, him and Zuby- her. Zuby Dooby. Zuby- 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 I love that. Zuby- Zuby- I love that. Zuby- Zuby- I have them stuck in my head. There's sometimes, I'm like, I need to find these on iTunes. Oh, they're on there. Let me get them. Um, and, uh, in my yeah, workout playlist. For Amir Khan, obviously there's there's PK uh, and, and all that. Um, in terms, he has a bunch. And I don't think we've seen one that we didn't like yet. Uh, and we've seen almost 13 of his okay. films. Um, and I know there was he, one I, where I, it looked like a very over the top action movie. And I was like, did you guys see that? No. Where he's like a gymnast robbing a bank or something? No, I think that's Doom 3. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, we have not seen Doom 3. I'll let you know. Uh, don't watch it. I'll let you know. Um, but uh, the ones we've seen, Dongle is probably one of his better performances. It's a okay. really good. It's a really good film. That's uh, and it's a more modern. It's a really good sports film. Um, Dil De Nadu is a good film. He's not really in that. He's a voice in that. Okay. Um, Talash is a good one. Uh, that's a police kind of thriller okay. with a little twist in there, which is a good watch. Let's see here. Um, do 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 do. Oh, oh yeah. Gahan Gahan Neji. We haven't seen it, but it's the remake of Memento. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I, I knew you'd be interested in that one. I haven't seen that one yet. A lot of people say it's really good. You've uh, seen Memento, right? I've never seen Memento. I know about Memento. Right. Um, right, right. Um, so. Oh, another good one. It's it, it's in the same ilk as Three Idiots and PK is uh, like Stars on Earth. It's okay. uh, it's he plays a teacher and it's about a kid with autism. Um, it's really, really Same good. Director? Uh, may, might be actually, I don't know. The, I know no, PK no, uh, wait, Amir Khan directed, Amir Khan directed, uh, like stars on earth. Okay. Um, so that's, that one's a really good one. Like if you're looking for the same kind of feel as, as this in PK, um, I would definitely check that one. And then, oh, Lagan, um, Lagan, <laughs> Lagan 
it's a movie about cricket. One, it would help you learn a little bit about cricket. Uh, and it was the official entry to the Oscars in 2001 from India. One of the oh, only okay. one of only three Indian films to get nominated for an Oscar. None have ever won. Um, but it's about three and a half hours. Yeah, but it's real good. It's a real good film. Um, that one is uh, a definite, definite recommend. Even okay. it's, it's one of those, there's a couple films that we've seen that they're three and a half hours, like big Bollywood films, but they have so many songs in them. Uh, and they kind of, they're, they're well done in terms of how they're made. And so it doesn't, you don't feel as much. Yeah. I mean, if you get hours. hooked in, you forget that. And like yeah. I said, with the, with, with three idiots, it took me a while to get hooked in. So, Took me a while to kind of finish it, but once I got it, yeah. But he's definitely one of the uh, actors that we we like more. And no, so, I, I like him a lot. Uh, let a let Zach know down below what fi- Amir Khan film, and if it's not Amir Khan, what film of his he should watch next. Maybe we'll do a poll and we'll have everybody choose what Zach should watch next. They might have you watch something terrible. <laughs> I'll do it. I love terrible. You guys go in a lot of my movies. It's true, are, and I love them. And then eventually, I'm like, okay, that, that was terrible. <laughs> Well, let let him know down below.